Hey guys, this is Boy It's Mimic. In this video, I'm gonna say a lawyer ping in Chapter 6, Season 3 on both console and PC, with things like save command props, different epic games directly, and so much more. Pause. Now, in episode of you guys watching, not subscribe, so let's make a deal. If it helps you in any way, then you gotta leave a like and a sub with noise. First, we did lawyer ping about using a network optimizer like Lagofast. Basically, what it does is optimize your network route to the game servers more effectively, which also reduces lag spikes and keeps your connection stable. Here's my ping without it. It's not the end of the world, but it can easily be improved with LagoFast. So I just open up LagoFast and click on the simple boost button and wait for it to connect, which doesn't take that long. And now we connect to the most optimal server. After that, I can minimize and load up my game as normal. Here's my ping with a LagoFast booster. It's very noticeable because now I'm playing on 15 ping, which is a massive improvement. Like I literally just half my ping. This is literally my ping before. Bruh. No more high ping for me. And if you guys want to do the same thing to your ping, just go to Google and search up Lego Fast or click the link in the description and you go to this page, then click on download and set it up. And when you open the app, it'll offer you a 7 day free trial so you can test it out without paying anything up front. And after your free trial ends, if you decide to keep using it, you can use my code MIMIC for 10% discount. That way you're getting smoother and more consistent gameplay without paying full price. On top of that, they got a one-click FPS booster that helps run your game smoother. I got some crosshair too that you can use across different games and even run Twitch drops so you can pick up rewards by linking your account. Thank you to LegoFest for sponsoring this video. Go check them out in the description below. So next, we need to make sure that our network drivers are actually updated. So first, go to taskbar and search up device manager and click on this. And this will pop up and scroll down to you see network adapters and find the one that you use. For me, it's this one. Right click on it and click update drivers. Then you see this and click on search automatically. Mine is already updated so I can just close it. Next go to Google and search DNS benchmark. It should be the first option, just click on it. And you see this page. Just scroll down until you see this download button. Click on it and download it. After it downloads open and you see this, click on the name service and run the benchmark and wait for it to finish. This will take a while so I'll skip it to when it's finished. So after it's done, the top two results you want to use them, so just copy them. Then go to settings and Wi-Fi and find DNS server assignments. Then change it from automatic to manual and make it IPv4 and just paste it in. And click on save. Next go to taskbar and search up command prompt. And right click on it and run as admin. Then type in IP config space dash flush DNS. This basically just flushes any bad DNS entries. After that, you can just close it. Next, go back to taskbar and type a percent local app day percent. Click this folder right here, and when you open it, you'll see this. Scroll down to see Epic Games Launcher. Saved. Config. Windows. Then you see what it ups and click on engine. It should be blank. Just paste this in. I'll leave this in the description. Then just click on save, then close it out. Next, open up the Epic Games Launcher and click on the top right, then Settings, then copy the settings. So scroll to Desktop Notifications and turn both of them off, since this can give you ping spikes. Then scroll to the very bottom and click on Fortnite, then select Additional Command Line Arguments, then paste this in. I'll leave this in the description as well. Then after that, click Add Settings, then click on Library, then click on the three dots, Options, then deselect the option for higher resolution texts since it can increase ping since you have to print the skins in more detail. Then click on apply. Wait for the changes to finalize, then click on the three dots again, but this time click on manage, then click on verify files, and wait for this to update. After this is done, you can launch your Fortnite. And copy these settings. For the first time, the rendering mode doesn't really matter, but I use performance mode to increase my FPS. So scroll down to the bottom and make sure NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency is on with boost and make sure the report performance stats is disabled. Next go to audio tab and you can leave most of it how it is but scroll down to subtitles and click on options and make sure the subtitles are off. For voice chat settings leave it how it is. For game settings scroll all the way down to the bottom and turn off replays but also save a lot of storage too. For the energy saving settings, have them off as well. For game UI, you can leave most of it how it is and if you want to see your ping, make sure to have net debug stats enabled. And lastly, go to the last tab and make sure player service are off. This will reduce ping. The scroll to friend invite permission. This is optional, but turning this off can actually lower your ping, especially if you have a lot of friend requests. 
Then click on apply to save all the changes. Lastly open up the command prompt one more time and paste it in and if it says corrupted just paste it in after the repair. This helps with any OS corruption issues. Anyways thank you guys so much for watching. If this helps you out make sure to help me out by leaving a like and a sub with no ease. We're on our way to 30k subscribers guys. Thank you so much.